Hello, this video is to show how to create a PGR style flagpole out of a camera monopod. Many people have been disappointed with their aluminum poles because they keep breaking, they keep sliding, they can't, they won't stay extended. So there was a guy I met in Region 1 who uh, was using one of these. It's a black uh, monopole used for cameras. Uh, and he was using it just as is with a couple of uh, zip ties on it to hold the flag on it. And I thought it was a pretty good idea, so I got looking at it and said, you know, there, there could be some improvements you could make to it so that it was uh, more like a regular pole and was made perhaps a little easier to use. So uh, this is a design I decided on after playing with it for a while. So the monopole pole comes like this, and the first step is to take the camera piece off. This is where the camera normally mounts so that when you're using the monopole to keep the camera steady that's where it is at the top. So that comes off. Now some of them have a set screw in them. This one did at one point that you may need to take out with a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, others are just glued on. So uh, irrespective what you'll do is either take out the set screw or just take the pole out to the garage and uh, hit it with a rubber mallet. Be careful when you do that because you could damage the foam around here if you hit it with a hammer. So I use a rubber mallet and it, it works okay. This foam, by the way, slides up and down the pole so you can slide it up out of the way before you beat this thing off the end of it, which is a, probably a good idea. At any rate, then on the end of this, because you don't want to be holding on that jagged stuff there, I put a furniture foot. It's just a rubber foot for a chair or a replacement for one that's worn out. I get them at Home Depot, they're four to a package. And it just slides on the end just like that. It's a one inch and it just fits on there perfectly, just like so. Then you can slide the foam back up and there you go. Steps one and two towards having your flagpole. The uh, third step is to mount some kind of a uh, a top piece on to hook the flag onto. I'm using binder clips. I got these again, Home Depot. Uh, inexpensive. They're, these are plastic. They hold 10 pounds, so you're not going to use this on your motorcycle to hold the flag when you're going at speed. But for standing a flag line, it's great. So this top part here on this monopode unscrews like that. All right, and that's, well, nobody cares why that is, but it does unscrew a little bit. It doesn't come off, it just unscrews. Then I slide this uh, binder clip, as it's called, right on, the, right on the end of it like that. Now, the little clip part here isn't quite short enough to go by the pole, so I stick a screwdriver in it and just pop it just like that. All right, so it's on there, and it... It's, uh, it's a good fit. Then you can screw this back down once you get in the position that you want it. Alright? So, that's step three, I guess. Step four is going to be to put on the bottom half of the uh, flag holding apparatus. And that goes in between these two clips right here, these two bottom clips. So it goes right in there. You don't need much room. It's a couple of zip ties to start and another one of those binder clips. So these are four inch zip ties, all right? These are four inch zip ties, so they're small. And I got these at Home Depot too. Maybe we'll start calling it Flag Depot. At any rate, you just put it on there like this, all right? It's a pretty tight fit. Uh, and uh, it's not on there completely tight yet. I'll tighten it up a little bit more, but that's one. Then there's a groove in this, uh, in here. It may be hard to see on this field, but there's a, a grooves on either side that are channels for this uh, pole. And so what I do is I slide the second zip tie up in that groove underneath the one that I already put on there. Now note that I have the square end of the zip tie, the little catcher piece here, down at the bottom of the pole. So it's down towards the bottom. That's so when I connect it up, 
it's down here while the loops up there leave making sure that this clip gets as close to the flagpole as possible without get pushing on this part just a little bit of uh, just a way to keep this a little closer to the flagpole alright so we put this loop in everybody knows how to use zip ties right like that alright now let's roll this binder clip up one thing I'm careful of is as you can see this clip is on this side so the flag mounts on this side alright so I put this binder clip in I want it to be facing the same way so that it's easier easiest to just hook the flag up so you can see they're both facing the same way and then all I have to do is tighten this up a little bit now I leave a little slack in this one in this second uh, clip here so this thing can move around a little bit all right and I do that for a couple of reasons number one so it can move around a little bit uh, and two so that if at some point you want to take this off and get a different clip or do something else you can take this right off of here maybe you can without having to cut the uh, zip ties so I leave it a little bit long just for that purpose so these are on here slide it up there cut it off cut off the excess like so and there you essentially have your flagpole I tighten it up just a little bit all right there it is so uh, that's how I that's how I decided to make them. Uh, it goes together well. There's a bag if you get one of these Vivitar ones uh, from uh, from uh, Walmart. Uh, this bag comes with it. It's just a cheap nylon bag, and the pole fits in it. And once you put your flag on and roll it around the pole, it'll still go, it'll go in the bag that way also. So you then have a uh, bag for your flag if you want one. All right, that's how the whole thing works, and uh, it's easy to do when you're not trying to make a video out of it. It takes about maybe five, ten minutes, and uh, it's very simple. Uh, I'm in region two. Uh, I have six of these now. Uh, what I did was because I bought some rubber feet, extra rubber feet, and I have some zip ties and things like that. I have six of these things made. So if you don't want to build your own, I'll be glad to give you one of these uh, flagpoles for 20 bucks. That'll be that's about $17 for materials and $3 contribution to Hoth. Uh, went to 20 because it's a round number. So let me know, and then you'll have to catch me at admission. I'm in Region Two. I uh, get into Region One and sometimes Region Three. Uh, so if you want one, message me uh, on Facebook or uh, on this post. Thanks. Bye.